Hi guys, Bike of Taz here. Now today I'm on this very beautiful Honda CB1000R at Black Edition. Um, as I'm sure you will agree, is very cool looking. Um, which I very kindly got on loan for a couple of weeks from Honda UK. So I'm going to go for a ride and I wanted to take you guys along with me so you can see what it's like. So hang tight and I'll just get changed. Right, so that was a quick change. I'm all ready. Are you guys ready to come for a ride with me? Let's get going. So it's nice to have you guys along with me this afternoon my ride on this Honda CB1000R so I'm very fortunate in that I have a 2015 plate one of these bikes so it's been very interesting to be able to compare the two So obviously this is the new black edition and I have to say I am well impressed with it. It's lighter than my 2015 model and it has about 20 bhp more power than <laughs> you do notice it. This is a very smooth bike to ride and it has an up and down quick shifter. And I have to say I have ridden a few loan bikes now with quick shifters and this is by far the most smoothest one I've ridden. The, the gear changes just, just slip in so nicely. So really like the colour on this. Just, I think it looks cool. It does come in three colours. You've got a red and also a blue, both of which are metallic. I think it's called Jean, matte jean blue paint, metallic. Uh, really nice. They are nice, nice colours. But I am a particular fan of a all black bike. I do think they look cool and this is no exception. So this CB1000R comes with three modes. So you've got rain, standard and sport mode and then within those modes you have three different modes that you can set traction control, engine braking uh, and a couple of other things I will have to check that for you um, so you can really set this bike up to suit your riding uh, I have tried it in the uh, standard mode um, and I have now got it in sport mode I've got to say I do prefer sport mode just handles that a little bit nicer nah. it's a good job you haven't got smelly vision because the smell coming out the back of that trailer is very potent <laughs> ow Let's see if we can get past that Just wound the throttle on then. I didn't have to drop it again. It's an off shift this bike. I really do like the quick shifter. I haven't 
got it on my personal bikes but a lot of the lone bikes now do come with quick shifter and I'm just so used to it now that I can see why people like them especially if they're up and down you just flick it up or down whatever gear you want and it's just nice I can see the attraction I can see why you would pay extra for that the screen on this, if you can see that, TFT screen and it is really easy to read, really clear. You've got all the usual things that you need like your revs, obviously your speed, what gear you're in, what mode you're in. It's got temperature clock, and then you can have different things on the screen that you want to have on there, so your trip. Uh, you've got your different trip, your mileage, your average speed, uh, your average mileage, fuel economy. So you can really set it up to what you want. And most importantly, it has a fuel gauge. I know there's some bikes that don't come with a fuel gauge and I've got to be honest that would really put me off buying a bike which doesn't have a fuel gauge I think all modern bikes now should have fuel gauges as standard I don't know why you wouldn't beautiful afternoon for a ride so nice to have you guys along with me. I hope you're doing okay. Hope you're keeping well. What have you been up to? Has anyone got a new bike? If so, what have you got? What are you getting? Have you placed your order? So I've got two mates picking up two new bikes tomorrow. One's getting a Versus 650 and the other one's getting a Yamaha MT-09 so I'm very excited to see those bikes but not as excited as I am to be riding this bike it's just so smooth know you're getting quality because it's a Honda and you're getting the reliability because it's a Honda and also what you're getting with this is character this bike does not lack character at all it just wants to be ridden it's a real hooning bike so comfortable, the riding position is really nice. Um, Hanks. Um, sorry, where was I? Um, yes, riding position, really nice, really nice height. Not on tiptoes at all. Uh, and it's actually lighter than my CV that I've got. So manoeuvring it in and out of the garage is really easy. What I do like about these, this bike is that the tyres on it are Michelin power tyres. I am a fan of Michelin tyres anyway. I do have to put that out there. But they're really nice. They grip the road so nicely. hope you guys are enjoying this ride with me. I certainly am. I would definitely go touring on this. It's so comfortable to ride. 
my other half takes our CB touring and we've done Europe on that so really comfortable it's just effortless honestly I'm, I love it having so much fun on this bike I've ridden it every day I've had it so far. I've got it for two weeks from Honda UK and so far I've been out on it every day. Honestly can't get enough of riding it. It's just such fun. It just wants to be ridden. <laughs> oh dear. I hope you guys have enjoyed your ride with me it's been really nice to have you along don't forget to check out my website mikeycaz.com and if you could subscribe to my channel that would be amazing thank you so much I really do appreciate your support so I will catch up with you guys soon Hi guys, so I've stopped on my ride out and I thought I'd give you a bit of an up close and personal look of this gorgeous CB1000R Black Edition that I very kindly got on loan from Honda UK. So as I, as I mentioned, this is the Black Edition. So what is the Black Edition, you may ask? Well, the CB1000R comes in um, three colours. It comes in graphite black, border red metallic, and metallic jeans blue and then you've got the black edition which comes in black <laughs> and the metallic blue so the black edition black you see here these bits here the chrome bits are actually black and here so you've got the CB1000R very nicely engraved on there and then the rear seat cowl is black so little little additional touches of black so where the silver will be on the black one they are black and i think it actually looks really nice really cool if you like really adds to the styling of the bike like the little honda badge it's quite nice that it's actually a badge itself um a lot of the bikes that just come with stickers and they're not lacquered um, and my worry is that they'll just peel off especially in our inclement weather as you can see it is raining <laughs> um, so this is the the 998 engine honda engine um, which is pushing out 143 bhp um, which is about 20 bhp more than the previous model um, and I'm very fortunate in that I do have the previous model. I have a 2015 plate um, and I, I personally think it's lighter and quicker than, than my one. Um, it weighs 212 kilograms which is only about five or six kilograms lighter than my one. Um, so not a huge difference um, but it, it is good. Um, Definitely, I can definitely feel the difference um, and the seat height of 830 millimeters um, which is not bad my feet are fairly nicely planted on the floor and you've got the full LED lights if I just turn that on for you you can just see that starting up nice clear screen there let's just have a quick look at the lights so you can see the front headlight there very nice and quick whiz round to the back <laughs> I like that that is nice that's stylish very nice uh, so if we go back to the TFT screen then um, which is newer on this model than my one um, you will see you've got the little yellow 
um, thing here it says that's the side stand down and then you've got your traditional rev counter fuel gauge speedo um, when you're in neutral it comes up in a green box so it's very prominent um, and then it's got sport uh, three modes I've got it in sport um, in those modes you can change the power the engine braking and the torque and so the, there are three levels in those modes if I'm right so you've got medium high and low so you can change really set the bike right up really to set your riding which is really nice um, and then so if you look on the bar here so here's the mode button so it is very really easy to use you've got user where you can uh, personalize the bike for your personal things um, what you actually want to see on the screen and then you've got sport standard and rain uh, I've tried them in all um, I do prefer sport though um, but that's probably just me and my riding style um, I do think it needs a screen you see that's the standard screen that you get with it um, do get a lot of wind buffeting at high speed on a dual carriageway motorway um, so I personally um, put a bigger screen on if I could um, but I really like it it's really really nice to ride and I tell you it goes like stink it's um, such a fun bike to ride um, so you've got the Tokiko brakes down here and if we look at the back there you've got adjustable suspension and the exhaust do I mean it is a nice for standard exhaust it is nice but um, I'd probably change it but that's personal choice um, and then we have the rear number plate which is attached to the single-sided swing arm now <laughs> I put a post post on this on social media to say what do you guys think so very very mixed opinions um, as to whether it's nice good stylish or not so good um, I personally like it because it's different and I like different um, but a lot of people are saying that it should all come off and you put the number plate up there but I think that's absolutely personal choice and really what you prefer um, but I quite like it it adds to the styling of the bike if you see so but yeah have a look see what you think make your own mind up um, but as it's raining uh, and it's getting heavier I'm going to carry on with my ride um, but I'll catch you guys later don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my website bikercaz.com catch you in a bit